Good afternoon. I'm on the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal. I'm watching a little orange tip sticking above the water. I'm fishing with maggot and I'll be back to tell you the approach that I'm using and the tackle that I'm fishing with during the course of the video. But for now, cast out, made a cup of tea. Let's see if I can get some action. The waggler dipped, it disappeared, I struck, and I've caught the first fish of the penultimate session of 2021. As I mentioned right at the start of the video, the tackle that I'm fishing with, that's a small Shimano reel. It's a Gray's Prodigy 12 feet float rod. I'll list all the actual tackle items in the blog that goes with this, but for now, and it's a small float, it's a Drennan Waggler. It's four pound mainline, three and a half pound loop to loop, pretty much about four feet there. And I'm fishing five feet plus into the boat channel. A couple of shot either side to keep the float in place. Don't need too much lead on there, too much weight. But one important shot is that one. That's what I call the anchor shot. It's a size 18, Drennan super specialist and a very wriggly maggot. Let's see if I can add to the solitary gudgeon that I've caught so far. I'm fishing the boat channel, which is the center of the canal. As I've already mentioned, maggots. And there's my brown crumb approach. I mix that quite sloppy. I can just throw it easily into the water so the bulk of it forms a cloud then the particles will gradually settle on the bottom i'll put a few maggots in there as well and maybe a few loose ones you don't want to overfeed that's important at this time of the year especially if the fish do move in if you are getting lots of bites you can always put more stuff out there but remember once it's out you can never take it back now caught fish in the plural. It's another gudgeon. It's very lively as well. It's a nice enough fish for the canal that I'm on, which incidentally, way back in the 1960s, is where I caught my very first fish, and it was a gudgeon. I've been catching lots of gudgeon and roach, all small fish. The float goes though and I've just netted this perch. I mentioned that I caught gudgeon and roach prior to that perch. I did take some photographs of the uh, small fish just in case I didn't catch anything decent and I was going to use one of those as the lead image or certainly to illustrate the video but that was a, a nice enough perch not a monster but I think it's so important to always look at the big picture so a one pound perch on this canal is a good fish a two is a specimen anything above that then you're talking quite a decent fish indeed on some venues you might be catching threes regularly throughout the course of the year. On others, an eight ounce fish would be a specimen. So I think it's important not to get carried away with just the weight alone, but rather the venue that it comes from. Above all though, whether it's eight ounces or three pounds, it's all about enjoyment, isn't it? And I've certainly enjoyed this short session that I've embarked on this afternoon just a couple of hours up to dark and i've still got well easily 20 minutes or 30 minutes of fishing to go
not as big as the first perch. Just my second one though of the session. Still catching lots of roach and gudgeon. To fish a chuck. I'm into something bigger now. Let me net it and I'll be back. Can you believe it? Well, yes you can because it's probably happened to you a few times. The hook actually came out in the landing net. Right, let me get myself sorted and I'll be back with the fish properly. That's it for now. Nice perch.